Let's take a look at the lesson. Balance subtraction equations with sums up to 18. Which number makes the equation true? They give us 5 minus 4 is equal to 4 minus a number. Well, I can see that 5 minus 4 is something that we can solve. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We are left with 1. Great. Now we have 4 minus a number. Well, I know that both of these sides need to be equal. They both need to equal 1. So 4 minus a number will be equal to 1. So let's see, if we draw 4 dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, how many will we need to take away so that we only have one left? Let's see. Oh, I see we have one left now. How many did I cross off? 1, 2, 3. Ah, so 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So 5 minus 4 is equal to 4 minus 3. They both equal 1. Here we have a number minus 6 is equal to 3 minus 1. Well, I know that I solve the complete side first. So 3 minus 1. 1, 2, 3, and then I subtract 1. Oh, I have 2 left. So this side I know needs to be equal to 2. Well, I see that I need to have a number here that I can take 6 away from and be left with 2. So I know this number needs to be 2 larger than 6. So if I were to draw 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I would need to then add 2 more because I know I'm going to be crossing off these 6 and I need to have 2 left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is 8 minus 6 and that is equal to 2. Here we have 2 minus 1 is equal to a number minus 4. Well, 2 minus 1 is just 1. So this side also needs to be equal to 1. What number can I put here so that it is equal to 1? Remember, if it is on the left side, this number needs to be larger than this one. So I know that a number minus 4 needs to be equal to 1. Let's see, if I were to take away 4 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, I need to make sure there's one more so that when I take away those four, one, two, three, four, then I still have one left so that they are even. How much was this? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, I see a pattern. If we need to find what the larger number is, we can take this number and add what we need it to be equal to. So in this case, we took four and we knew that our answer needed to be one, so we just added one to four because once we took away four, this number would be left. Here we have four minus three is equal to two minus a number. Well, four minus three, one, two, three, four, minus one, two, three is equal to just one. Now we have our larger number on this side and we know what that number is. It is 2. So we know we start with 2 and they say how many do you take away so that you have 1 left? Because remember this needs to also equal 1 just like this side does. How many would we need to take away so that we just have 1 left? Yes, just 1. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So our answer is 1. Here we have a number minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 4. Remember, let's solve the side we know first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, minus 1, 2, 3, 4. We are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. Now this side needs to be equal to 6. Remember, if the larger number is missing, we can take this number and add it to what number we need to be here. We need a 6 to be here, so let's do 6 plus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, plus one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight minus two is equal to six. Eight makes this equation true. Next we have seven minus three is equal to a number minus six. So here we have seven minus three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus one, two, three. We are left with one, two, three, four. And that is equal to a number minus six. Remember, if we are missing our larger number, then we just add this number to what number we need to be here because we know we're going to be taking this many away from it. So let's see, let's add those two numbers, six plus four. Ah, I can see that those are my 10 numbers. Those numbers add together to make 10. All right, so six plus four is equal to 10. So 10 minus six is equal to four. So I'm going to show you why we're adding these together. So if I know I'm going to take away six, if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I know I'm going to take those six away, I needed to figure out how many to add so that I would end up with four left over. One, two, three, four. All right, so now let's see how many there were all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we knew we had ten minus six would leave us with four left over. Great. This equation says a number minus two is equal to ten minus eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 10 minus eight is equal to two. A number minus two will be equal to two. So what number minus two is equal to two? Well, let's add this number plus the number we're trying to get to, which is two, two plus two. Two plus two, Ooh, that's one of my doubles. I know two plus two is four. So four minus two is equal to two. We needed to put a four here to make this equation true. Next we have four minus a number is equal to seven minus four. Well, let's solve this one first. Seven minus four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus one, two, three, four. We are left with three. So we know this side needs to also be equal to three. 4 minus a number is equal to 3. So if we have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, we need to take something away from it so that we only have 3 left. How many did I need to take away? Just 1. So 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Here we have a number minus 1 is equal to 8 minus 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is equal to one. So we know this side needs to be equal to one. Well, I know that if my larger number is missing, I can add these two numbers together, one plus one. That's one of my doubles. One plus one is two. So two minus one is equal to one. Here we have a number minus three is equal to 10 minus seven. So let's see what 10 minus seven is equal to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm left with three. All right, a number minus three is equal to three. Remember, if the larger number is missing, we need to add this number to what number we want to end up with. So three plus three. Hey, that's another one of my doubles. Three plus three is six. So six minus three is equal to three. There's my answer. Amazing job, my friends.